This week's exciting session is on Make Working with Automotive Spice Requirements Easier. Our expert presenters today are Ahenya Zuniga, Vehicle Software Quality Engineer for Quantum Technologies, and Stefan Shuk, Professional Services at Polarian. So what we're going to see here in this webinar is what is the automotive industry overview needs and trend, and how Polarian can help the automotive industry, which means the automotive standards compliance. Okay, so what are the overview and what are the needs? Okay, as everybody knows, 20 years ago, the engineering development was about five years. That's because the systems were not that complex. Still, some processes were introduced to the automotive industry, like CMM, which is Capability Maturity Model, the Bootstrap, and SPICE. SPICE was more intended for IT technologies, computer-based, not really for automotive. Therefore, 10 years later, the big expansion happens because we had a lot of mini computers that are inside of the vehicle. Therefore, a, a specific process was needed. In this case, the automotive spice. Okay. In this moment, 10 years ago, the software upgrade to service locations happened because this software was now capable to be reflashed in microcontrollers, which we couldn't do that like 20 years ago. What that happened is that since software is something that you cannot touch and it does not involve hardware, so it can be changed at any moment. And because of that, then the interactions in development are a lot more faster or changes in last minute. Okay? But what's going on right now? Okay. Right now, because of that characteristic that I mentioned, the electronic components grow really, really so fast such a way that we can have up to 200 in-vehicle mini computers. All the luxury cars that you see outside, the, like the mini camera that is in the rear, the fancy displays that is multimedia, and then the cluster, and then the airbags. Before it was only two airbags, the front and left, and now you have front, left, rear, knees, and then side, and all that. So every single component that is in the vehicle needs to be controlled by software. So that's why it was increased a lot. And because of that, of course, the software now is focused in safety, drivability, and comfort to the end user, like what you just mentioned for airbags, right? And for powertrain, for example, that we are going to alternative technologies. So anything needs, needs to be more controlled in how much fuel is injected and the speed and all that. So everything is software. So because of that, then it required the unique processes like Automotive Spice and ISO 262. And as I mentioned before, the software interactions, because the software can be updated at any moment during development time, then the interactions were changed from months to weeks. And probably everybody that is in this webinar can understand that that is really, really extremely hard to do documentation and implementation and then testing and then make the product work. Okay, and because of that, we need a environment that we can combine the fast development, the standard project management, and easy to use. That's why we choose Polarion, because it's everything developed in small pieces. So this is a little trend of what's going on on the automotive industry. By 2025, all the auto manufacturers will be required to produce vehicles that will deliver 54.5 miles per gallon. Therefore, the power train with CNG hybrid combustion electrical vehicles will grow up really fast in the market. For full recorded webinars, visit polarian.com, click on the Events and Webinars tab, and click on Recorded Webinars. Or take the next Polarian steps.